so we start a new chapter called the states of matter till now we have been studying about the individual atoms or molecules for example if we want to know the enthalpy okay uh, we want to know the ionization energy we want to know the 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 bond dissociation enthalpy so many kind of hydration enthalpy or whatever right now those were actually referring to the to the individual molecules okay now the way the individual molecules behave and the way the bulk behaves that means when they come together that is radically different when they come together when when they are when they come together as a solid or a liquid or a gas okay that's a bulk so so the behavior of the atoms or molecules the behavior of the atoms or molecules is radically different when in bulk that is when they come together then when they are then when they are present individually individually in isolation they are quite different for example example liquid boils right when in bulk that means when they come together liquid boils but but individual h2o molecule won't won't boil individual h2o molecule doesn't boil can't okay it's a bulk phenomena it is the phenomena of the atoms or molecules escaping the liquid liquid uh, conglomeration aggregate and and escaping as as gases right similarly water wets but but h2o molecule does not a single molecule is not capable of doing that and most of the properties that we are are con uh, are are concerned with they are coming from the bulk for example when i am mixing two solutions and trying to set up some reaction it is the liquid state which is coming together correct so so that's why uh, when we are uh, say in in any reaction in any interaction i'll say it is the it is the bulk that is that we are concerned with this interaction may be called a uh, a reaction right it is the bulk that we are concerned with correct we are concerned with the bulk fine so 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 it is it is essential for us to to study the bulk okay and when we say bulk we are essentially talking about the states of matter different states of matter correct so when molecules come together in a bulk we are we are concerned with the 
states of matter and what are those different states of matter that we have are being taught since class 6th to 7th okay the the okay so the states of matter are maybe solid liquid gases fine fine now we realize and 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 we also know that say water as ice as liquid as steam manifests the 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 three kinds of states of matter right we also know that the physical the 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 physical properties remain the same even when the states of matter change okay even when the states of matter change i'm sorry i i am sorry i'm talking about the the chemical properties the physical properties are different right the chemical properties remain the same the physical properties the the physical properties vary a lot right vary with change in with change in states correct okay the way it looks so it is a solid okay the the compressibility changes the 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 hardness changes the the hmm density the density changes and uh, so many things so so everything that we associate with physical property that that changes with with change in state while the chemical properties remain the same the way it reacts in a in a particular reaction however we should understand that the rate of chemical reactions okay so so by by chemical properties by chemical properties we mean the chemical reactions that it undergoes that it undergoes when different substances different substances correct however we should very well understand that the rates of these chemical reactions are bound to vary okay the rates of the chemical reactions is bound to is is, is is variable with 
the changed state. Okay? Why? Because, because as you sort of change from solid to liquid to gas, the surface area of the, of the molecule changes. Okay? So, when, when it is in a solid, so, so let us try to understand why, why that happens. Because the surface area changes. Suppose I have a cube. Okay? I have a cube, one meter edge. Okay? Everything one meter. What is the total surface area? Big cube is 6a square, which is 6 meter square. Let's say, let's say all of them are 1 meter. Okay, now, now I divide it into 1000 cubes. I divide it into 1000 cubes. That means, how, 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 do, I, how do I divide it into 1000 cubes? I, I, I cut, cut this way, like this, correct, the length, breadth and, and height into thou, equal 1000 parts, it will give you 1000 cubes, fine. So now, since it is, now the edge becomes one tenth of what it was earlier, correct. So, so surface area of one small cube, of one small cube is equal to how much? So, it becomes 10 centimeter each, 1 meter is 100 centimeter divided by 10. So, so 6 into 0.1 square, that is equal to 0 0.06, 10 centimeter is 0 0.1 meter, right? So, it is 0 0.06 meter square. Total surface area, there are how many cubes? 1000 into 0 0.06, what does it become? 60 meter square, merely cutting it in 10 pieces, 1000 pieces, 10 from each side has, has multiplied my surface, surface of area by 10 times, right? Now this surface area, now, now don't get confused, I am not saying that after cutting it, it becomes a gas, but this is how somehow a solid, when it becomes individual molecules, when, when it transforms into a gas and it becomes an individual molecule, this is how this also behaves. So, if I start cutting up things into smaller pieces, then, 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 then the rate of reaction changes. The, these things are there when we study the colloids and, and things like that. So, that is, that is about surface chemistry. But we should, we should have some notion of why things behave in a particular manner and why at all they, they change their behavior, fine. So, so just try to think, uh, a green chili or, or, or a red chili kept here, okay, on, on a table or, or thrown at someone will do no harm. But if you convert it into chili powder and, and throw the same in to someone, it will create a havoc, okay. That is due to the surface area increasing and that is why these things become more effective when they are in the powdered form. So, so, the states matter and since the states matter and as chemists, as the students of chemistry, we will be performing so many reactions, we should be aware of what is happening when the, when the substances change their state, fine. So, that is why we are led into, led into study of the different states of matter, okay. Now, now, now uh, uh, we should also try to understand why certain thing is a, why certain thing is a solid or liquid or a gas, okay. So, so there are some binding forces in a, in a substance and there are certain destabilizing. So, so there are some stabilizing forces, there are certain destabilizing forces. It is the, actually the balance of these two that actually establishes whether, whether something will be a solid or a liquid or a yes. gas that we will see shortly.